Hello, my name is Austin Lehman, and welcome to the next edition of Austin Weekend. And uh, here's Dad once again. And we're here to review the highly anticipated, for sure, movie, yes. Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad, based on the DC Comics, or DC, DC Universe. Well, in this movie, you'd expect the good guys to be our main characters. No. But it's the flip no, side. It's the flip side. Yeah, this is the story of uh, hopefully everybody who has watched Superman, Batman. And spoiler alert, if you haven't watched Superman and Batman, Batman uh, and Superman movie, Superman dies in the movie. Yep. Of course, he's not really dead, but, but he dies in the movie. So they're worried about... If there is some other alien comes down and they turn out to be not a not a good alien, who's going to fight them? So they the just... plot. Well, the plot uh -huh. is very interesting. Yeah. Instead of relying on our Cape Crusader, mm -hmm. which is Batsy, B Batsy, who is in this movie too, mm -hmm. they rely on. Criminals straight out of Arkham Asylum. The bad guys. So they make a team of bad guys who are sort of expendable, you know. That's why they call them the Suicide Squad. They throw them in situations where you might not make, make it, it out, out alive. Uh, so, uh, and they use leverage against those bad guys to make them go fight the battles for us or for them. So... So that's what the basis of this is, is about. You want to sort of tell all the characters in it? There's a lot of characters there's, in it. There's plenty of characters to tell about, mm -hmm. talk about in the Suicide Squad alone. Yeah. Of course, there, there, there are some cameos of Batman in it. And if you follow the DC Universe... This, if you watch Batman Superman. Yeah, this is in the same timeline as the Batman Superman. So this is a continuation of the Batman Superman leading into the Justice League. So this is like a little movie in between Batman versus Superman and the Justice League. So definitely watch Batman Superman. He could probably just make a video of him talking about it. He can explain a bunch. I love I, I love I love com I'm sort of a comic junkie. I'm a comic junkie. I'm a geek. I'm a nerd. <laughs> I'm a teenager trapped in a four year old body. So yeah, but yeah, I, I love it. I love it. So we've got back. Of course, Batman makes some cameos, cameo brief appearances, cam brief appearances in it. Uh, our main characters, of course, everybody loves the Joker. He's so, part of this movie. The, the Joker is part of it. And uh, there's Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn. Which is probably my favorite of all of them. Harley Quinn. Uh, Deadshot. Killer Croc. Killer Croc. Croc Diablo. Uh, what, what, what's it called? Boomerang. Uh, there's, there's so many in it. What, I think that was all of them, wasn't it? Yeah. I was trying to remember all of them. Yeah, that's it's really hard to remember. It's hard to remember. But uh it's they're all individual uh characters. They uh, aren't recycled. No, no. Uh and and some of the characters are sort of rein, reinvented. One of our favorite characters in it was Harley, Harley Quinn. Quinn. Uh anybody who likes the the 90s Batman cartoon cartoon the animated Batman series will get a kick out of her. Of course, I think it's that's one of the best cartoons that has been ever made as far as action oh, cartoons. But we'll get to that sooner or later. So sooner or later. That's where Harley Quinn was first written, was in that cartoon. And she's been part of the mythos and, since. And she's been part of it ever, ever since. And everybody who's ever watched that knows how Harley Quinn acts. And uh, I have to say, she nailed it. She really played a good Harley Harley Quinn. The Puddin? The calling the Joker the Puddin is call, call the Joker That's Puddin. brilliant. That is just that's classic. It's timeless. It's anybody who's a cartoon junkie. We'll uh, get that. We'll get that. Anybody who's a comic junkie will get that. Harley Quinn is one of my personal favorite villains mm -hmm. in any movie. Yeah. She's psycho and cute at the same time. So yeah, so yeah, she. We is... can talk a lot about how much we love Harley, mm -hmm. but she we got to focus on more of the Suicide Squad characters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, we also got my second favorite, Killer Croc. Killer Croc is really cool in this uh, movie too. Uh, Deadshot's pretty good. They uh, also I give him. Like... They Go also ahead. give him a good backstory. Yeah, they give Deadshot a good or back... a half decent backstory. And I was a good backstory. I was sort of worried about Will Smith playing Deadshot. 
you know, sometimes sometimes you put too big of a star in a supporting role and it sort of doesn't like, work hey, out too good. Bad and Affleck worked as Batman. So ben Affleck worked as Batman and Will Smith worked as Deadshot. Oddly enough. Oddly enough. I mean, it, it worked. It did. So, uh, I said, there was a lot of characters in and uh, one movie, which was probably the only downside to the movie, was there was a lot of stories and a lot of characters Jump. crammed jump crammed into uh, one movie, uh, but I still think they did a good job of it. Uh, so there, I really all the characters. Suicide Squad's backstories were brief, but it connected to the story. Yeah, it gave it it gave it to you straight, without making you too confused. Yeah, they didn't throw too much into it. And thank goodness there weren't any dream sequences like Batman Superman. That was those, uh, dream, those dream sequences drove me crazy in the Batman Superman. So there wasn't any of, there wasn't any of those. They learned their lesson. Mm -hmm. Which was a good thing. Uh, but it's basically the story of the government controlling the bad guys uh, to How fight. How would you rate the battles. story? The story was actually pretty good. I liked it. Uh, I'm not, we won't tell you who the bad guy is because... It would it, spoil the whole movie. That's something that's, that you need to uh, know. Uh, it tells you in the movie who the bad guy is. So we don't want to spoil that for you. It's nothing that was shown in the preview, so we don't want to ruin it for you. But it's a but it's a good storyline. I, I liked it. I, I like the characters. I like the, the, the storyline. The main characters' villainous act, villainous previous villainous actions are believable because we know these guys as villains. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it works into the plot mm -hmm. and it connects the stories together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what? Speaking of characters, how do you think of them? How? What would you do? How would you think of them? I, I, I thought they were good. I would have liked to have had more Killer Croc. Because? I would have really liked to have seen his vicious side. Because, you know, they call him Killer Croc for a reason. Croc for a reason. So I would have liked to have had more Killy, uh, more, more Killy, more Killy Croc. More Killy Croc. More Killer Croc. <laughs> uh, Killy Croc. Uh, again, like, like I said, though, it was a movie that would have a lot of characters crammed into it anyways. So if you had got too much on one, you would have had to take away from something else. Uh, of course, I love Harley Quinn. I've heard rumors of, that they might make a separate movie, maybe now that they might be working on a separate DC movie with just those characters. With like a, I don't, I don't know if it's a Harley Quinn movie, but maybe a Joker. Or I Harley would Quinn totally movie. watch that. How about a Batman versus Joker and Harley Quinn movie? Would that not be? That would bring me back. That would bring me back to the theater again. Take my money, please. Please, DC. You're taking my money here. You can have it all. Just <laughs> Batman and Harley Quinn and Joker. Yeah. Take all my money. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, it is leading into the uh, Justice League, which I think is going to be really good. Especially with that brief release trailer of the Justice League that was revealed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And as I said, this has a, just a little pinch of Justice League in it, too. So just it gives a little minor pinch hints. A little minor hints, little somethings of the coming but yeah. not too major yeah but you can just find them if, after you watch the movie you can just pinch what you remember and put the pieces together yeah again uh, you want to go ahead and do a rating for it as i said we don't want to give away too much of the movie we'll just tell a little bit about the characters okay you explain how the rating goes one being completely and utterly horrible crap or maybe i should rephrase that maybe i should make it one suicide squad member yeah one is suicide uh, and ten being ten completely su awesome. Ten Suicide Squad members being awesome. Oh, that's really awesome, yes. And zero being Food Fight. That's the only movie we've ever seen that really was a zero. And it deserved it. And it deserved a zero. All right, and and we don't use stars as rating. We don't use one star, or two typical star, critic triple, talk, triple credit cap. We actually pull something from the uh, movie and use it like for Kung Fu Panda. We used. Dumpling time! Dumpling time! Dumpling time! We used dumplings. We gave it a dumpling rating because that's Poe's favorite food was dumplings. So we pulled something from each show to try to uh, use as the uh, rating. And we've been discussing what to use on Suicide Squad. There's so much crammed into it, it's hard to yes, pick it is. anything. But our favorite phrase from the movie was... Puddin. Puddin. <laughs> Harley Quinn calling Joker Puddin. So we're going to use Puddin. We're going to use puddings. <laughs> okay? From one being crappy pudding <laughs> to ten being the best pudding you've ever had, 
That is on. That, that's, you should, great. <laughs> yeah. that's great. That's great. Yeah. How many puddings do you give Suicide Squad? I'm gonna probably give it about eight point six puddings. Eight point six puddings. It's yeah. not eight point. It's not eight and a half puddings, but it's one. More it's a pudding. Little, it's a it's eight puddings and a little over half of a pudding. If you could eat ten puddings, I would give it about eight and a half puddings too. It wasn't completely and utterly fantastic, but it was a good movie. Uh, I really enjoyed it, and I would recommend it. It gets the Austin seal oh, of approval. Inspiring. It is all inspiring. Austin Weekend Experiment AWE. It is all inspiring. You so don't have to explain it to people. I don't know. Uh, sometimes, but we do recommend that you uh, go see it, especially if you want to follow along in the DC universe and the DC storyline, because this this is part of the Batman Superman Justice League storyline. I could so probably I would, uh, so I would recommend going to watch. I it. could probably imagine a lot of B DC cosplay. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot of people wearing a bunch of DC costumes just to watch a movie. Yeah, yeah, we've got some more stuff coming up in the future too. We've got some cartoons, The Loud House. What was that one you mentioned? The uh, Disney cartoon, Pickle and Peanut. Pickle and Peanut. Well, I think it's a strange. It's a strange one. We're gonna do it. We've got another movie coming out this weekend. Ice uh, Age Continental Drift. We've got that on the horizon. We've got that on the horizon. We've got a bunch of stuff coming up. So we've be got, sure and hit. Oh yeah, Ice Age. It's the fifth Ice Age movie. Yeah. Ice Age Collision Course. If you want us to review anything, we love to review stuff for you. We've got a couple of requests still yet out there that we're going to try to get to as soon as we can. We're sort of behind. So be sure and leave some comments below and let us know what you want us to watch. So we'll watch it for you. We will gladly take anything. Even if it sucks. Yep. So be sure and hit the like button. Like us. Be sure and hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to us so you'll hit get notices. Hit the groovy button. And hit the groovy baby button. The groovy baby button. Uh, other than that, I think we're good. No? Right? Let's eat some pudding. Eat some pudding. Pudding. Let's wear some ponytails. The ponytails and eat some pudding. <laughs> Later. See you next week.